To start the ACI Troubleshooting Wizard, select the Operations tab in the APIC GUI. This will bring up the Visibility and Troubleshooting page. From here, you can launch a previously defined session or create a new session. Let's create a new session. Enter the session name and specify the source and destination endpoint. The endpoint can be entered by IPv4, IPv6, MAC address, or virtual machine name. After selecting the source and destination endpoint, you can generate a report which will filter fault, event, and audit logs relevant to only these endpoints. For the previous four hours by default, but can go back as far as 24 hours. You can also display a previously generated report or start a new troubleshooting session. Let's start a new session. When you start a new session, the APIC will display a topology diagram showing where the endpoints are connected to the fabric. It will display only the leaf switches where the endpoints are connected. So in this example, we can see four leaf switches, but the fabric could have hundreds of leaf switches. In our example, we are also troubleshooting for virtual endpoints. When the endpoints are virtual machines, the APIC will also display the hypervisor information, including the IP address of the, of the host, the VM name, and if we click on the endpoint, it will display additional information about the VM. The tenant, the application profile, the EPG, where the endpoint is connected, the VLAN encapsulation between the leaf and the hypervisor, and state transitions for the VM. Here we can see the transition, the attached, detached, and attached timestamps for the VM. Maybe this VM was powered off during the issue that caused us to start the troubleshooting session. On the left hand side of the troubleshooting page lists a number of tools available to troubleshoot connectivity issues. The first option is the Faults tab. Here we can display any fault events that may have occurred during the time window that may affect these endpoints. These are not faults for the entire fabric, but only faults relevant to the specific endpoints. The next option is the Drops and Statistics tab. This displays all drop counters on the leaf and spine switches where traffic between the endpoints may traverse. This also includes contract drops. Here we can see that there have been drops between the endpoints for traffic with destination port 22. This is because Destination port 22 has not been allowed by the contract. 
Next, we can view the contract information. Here, we can see the contract is permitting HTTP traffic and ICMP traffic and is denying all other traffic. Next, we can view events and audits. The audit logs are very useful to see if any configuration changes have been made that may affect these endpoints. Here, we can see the user and the action taken. For example, user tenant one admin deleted a contract between the app and database EPG. The next tool is the traceroute utility. This is different than standard traceroute. The traceroute utility allows you to specify a layer 4 port for UDP or TCP. Here, we'll run a TCP port 80 traceroute. The APIC will program the leaf switch to send traffic on behalf of the endpoint for destination port 80. Here we can see the traffic is showing green, which means the traffic is permitted across the fabric from the source endpoint to the destination endpoint for port 80. The next tool is the Atomic Counter Utility. The Atomic Counter Utility is very useful. It will display packet counts for traffic between the endpoint groups across the fabric. Here we can see that we've been transmitting and receiving packets between these endpoints across the fabric and will display any drops that have occurred in the fabric for these endpoints. ACI 3.0 O will also include the ability to view latency information for traffic across the fabric between the endpoints. Finally, we have a span utility. This allows us to create an on-demand ER span session and capture traffic sent between the endpoints in real time. Here, we can specify a destination endpoint group application profile and EPG where the span destination is connected. Enter the span destination IP address and a source prefix for the span traffic. 
the APIC will program span sessions on all leaf switches in the fabric where the endpoints are connected. Let's check our span host. Here we can see the span traffic between the endpoints. Our endpoints are sending pings between the two endpoints. We can see that with the ICMP traffic. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you.